Hi, I'm Mary Weber, and today I am representing the Necklace Project that has supported Living Waters for the World since 2008. Living Waters for the World is a mission project that puts clean water purification units all around the world and also in Appalachia, thus saving many human lives from unpure water. I'm making the video today for two reasons. One, to teach you how to make the necklace, and the second, to ask your support in making necklaces to help our project because we're going to several conferences this summer where we expect to need hundreds if not thousands of necklaces. So let's get going. I have a printed pattern which shows how to make the necklace, but I will talk you through it by demonstrating how to do it today. What you need is a novelty yarn which is called track yarn or sometimes ribbon yarn and you can purchase it online or in specialty stores. You also need a 13 inch measure, which I just cut from a file folder. You will need a pair of scissors and two crochet hooks. The larger one, I prefer a J and the smaller can be most any size, thick enough not to bend. This one happens to be of E. To make the necklace, you start by measuring a 13 inch strip of your yarn and you start at that point and you do a simple chain stitch and you keep doing that until you have 13 inches and let it lie loosely on your measure and once you get to the 13 inches you measure off another unworked strip of 13 inches cut it off and pull it through the loop to make your knot this is just a simple chain stitch crochet. You make enough strands to make the necklace look nice. Ordinarily, you would do four or five or six, depending. When you get the ones that you want, you squeeze them together or pinch them together where the work starts. And then you tie an overhand knot right at the end of the stitching or within an inch or two of where the stitching stops. I'm doing it right near the end. Then you go to the opposite end and you again match the knots. And at this time you need to kind of see if it's pleasing. Does it form well? One strand may be too long and you'll need to shorten it. You can always just pull it farther up the line and you tie those together. So the next step is to take your smaller crochet hook and a bead. These are pony beads that can be purchased from craft stores and pull one side of strands through the bead. Then you reach through the bead again and pull the other side of strands through. At this point you want to work down towards where you've tied the knot on both sides and sometimes you have to kind of pull the strands to make them work. Pull out your strands to make sure they're straight. Tie a knot at the end. Sometimes you get a little fumble fingered. <laughs> and pull it tight. After you've done it, take a pair of scissors and clip it off close to the knot. The bead becomes a way to adjust the necklace. So when you're finished, you will have a long strand. You can put it over your head and then pull on the bead or up through the bead to shorten it to whatever length you want. And that is your necklace. We encourage you to consider helping us support Living Waters for the World. Thank you.